Welcome to the Idea Zone where inspiration daily energizes action. We are on step number three of my Live Your Dream series. If you've missed out on the earlier steps, you can catch up by going to my website, lesliemcnulty.com and downloading all my free worksheets. In step number three, we begin putting our dream to the test. Have you ever wondered how do I put my dream to the test? What measurements, standards, or costs are associated with your dream? Anything worth having has a price attached. As an athlete, I learned early on, no pain, no gain. What do I mean? <laughs> well, to improve our game, skills, and opportunity, we had to practice, practice, practice. And in the daily pursuit of our dreams, sometimes we did not feel like carrying on, but the sheer will of fortitude, the desire to win, and the constant challenge to press beyond our current capabilities kept us charging forward toward our destination. That's why I'm here. My coaches over the years challenged me never to give up, to stretch the extra mile, and to always discover the cost of my dream. I am here to help you on your journey. Live Your Dream has been developed from my own life experience and from training others. These principles work, and what others have learned, you can glean from. Avoiding the temptation to give up, get frustrated, and quit before you reach your destination. Today, let's begin refining our dream. Let's discover the facts. How do we do this? We begin by researching what it takes. We ask ourselves questions like, what price is too high to pay? You can count the cost of your dream by asking specific questions. What will my dream cost me personally, financially, and emotionally? What will my dream cost my family, my marriage? What will my dream require from my current free time? Ask yourself that question. Are you willing to give up your free time to pursue the dream that's in your heart? Or to learn a new skill, take a class, build a prototype, set a goal? Consider the price before you embark. Also, we should regard the experts. John Maxwell, noted author of over 60 books and leadership expert says, in 40 years, I've realized that the payments required for reaching a dream never stop. The higher you wanna go, the more you must give, and the greater price you pay, the greater joy, however, you feel when you finally reach your dream. Keep the dream alive, whatever it takes, and ask these questions. How long before I succeed? What if I fail on my first attempt? Look for incremental progress because it always takes longer than you expect. Don't live in the desire for completion. Live in the reality of incremental change. As long as you are moving forward, you are making progress. The cost of your dream? Face the reality. You may need to raise the funds to acquire your dream. You may need a new education. You may need to find legal assistance to initiate your idea. You might say, I don't have enough money to fulfill my vision. Believe it or not, that's not a new thought. Most dreams begin with very little. We have always taught young leaders that money follows vision. Remember, it's not the money in your pocket that counts, but the value of the idea in your mouth that will open up the door to opportunity. It's not what you have or what you know, but often it's even the who that you will meet that will make a dream a reality. So ask yourself, who do you know? Or who can you get to know? Well, we've come to the end of today's program, and I want you to remember always that one idea from God can change your life forever.